Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is that shit? Views. Oh, that's not that's not good. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't think my wife's boyfriend would let me. <laughs> it's okay. You have my permission. <laughs> oh, Joy so said I can, but I have to meow every one minute until the video is over. This is. This is how we're starting the episode, but and welcome back to the show. It's yuck time, episode thirty-eight. Tezo just um, well, well, a little backstory here. We this is supposed to be a, a classic episode of the show, classic yuck time, yuck time classic, whatever. Um, and so being that it's an episode where we picked a topic and we're going to talk about the topic. And the topic for this week is uh, revolutions and rebellions. Yes, sir. So neither of us have seen any uh, movies lately besides what? Fucking Dune 2 that we've already talked about 17 times. It really has to do with that. So so Tezo just typed revolution into the YouTube search bar. Real quick, and and one of the first videos that popped up was was titled what, what what's the title again? Back, back it up and hang on. The incoming, the, the coming incel revolution. Fuck wink, sake. wink. Not just playing. No, yeah, like what no the diddy. fuck does that even mean? No like, I want to say the incels have been trying to have their revolution, and everyone just hates them for it because all they're doing is shooting up fucking schools. You know. So it's like what, or just what? whining like fucking bitches, or whining like fucking bitches. <laughs> like, like, yeah, they're impotent. It's like what what the fuck else are they gonna do other than kill a shitload of people, which doesn't really achieve anything other than piss everyone off. You know, <laughs> like say I'm 34 and never held a girl's hand. I already accepted that I will be single for my entire life. Yeah, this is gonna be the the episode now. <laughs> it's fucking this reading, reading comment the comments section on this video. It's hilarious. I know they're trolling, but it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, the first comment was, "I don't." A lot of them are trolling. Some of them, I sh- I'm sure, are not. The first comment was, "I don't think my wife's boyfriend will let me watch this video." <laughs> So that's the corner of the internet that we are tapping into for this evening. But yeah, um, revolutions, rebellions, things of that nature really came to mind mostly because uh, certain current events are happening in the news. Things like all these college protests and all of the, the police crackdowns on said college protests. Fuck them. Fuck the police come straight from the... Fuck underground. the protesters, too. No, come come the fuck on. Fuck y'all. Let, let them do it. Like, they're not fucking doing anything is the thing. They're just fucking sitting there. Fuck y'all. As if. <laughs> nah, they're, they're, they're protesting for nah, nah. good fucking cause. If you are protesting, like, as a PETA person, fuck you. Oh well, Peta, like, give me a fucking break. Fuck that's you. that's moving the goalposts. Like, that's that's like, I well, f- fuck that. Yeah. yeah, they sucked it. Yeah, them. But, but the I other protesters, heard about them lately, like, like the, where, where the fuck did that even come from? It's like they be popping up throwing blood and shaming niggas. For yeah, it. but they've been doing that for like thirty-seven years. I don't so care. it's fuck not them. really like uh, niggas been protesting since the inception of the country. I'm a little bit country. I'm people a little bit have been protesting. Point being, if you're a cop and you're beating <laughs> up protesters just for fucking sitting in a in a in the middle of the quad. Then you're a cocksucker and a boot licking fuck, and I hope you go to hell. They just mad. The, what, the cops? Hell yeah. Well, they're always mad. That's why they're fucking cops. They just mad. They're, they're fucking losers. They don't do shit other than harass people and, and break they mad shit. That they're not out being, beating people up in the streets like Batman. Exactly. So they do it to... <laughs> they get paid way too fucking much oh, to sit just... around and eat donuts all fucking day. I, I shouldn't talk too much shit. My co-host here is eating donuts as we speak. I don't eat donuts all day, though. Well, not all day. And and you don't get paid to eat donuts all day. Eat so. donuts and drink coffee. 
Yeah, eat donuts, drink coffee, scream at the homeless, and and fucking have nobody like you ever. Except for the worst people on the planet. You know? It's like, who the fuck likes cops except for the shittiest, most annoying assholes? Is this one cop in Chicago that just got killed that people feel for? This Mexican Why? Nigga. He was just going on his way home. Some nigga just bodied him. Sheesh. I don't know why, like, you said that, and I just conflated it with the memory of watching a Mexican cop die in the movie I just watched last night. <laughs> I'm like, oh, was it that guy? No, that that was a movie, John. That was a movie that took place in 1989 or some shit. I watched Love Lies Bleeding, by the way, audience. Sort of a movie about rebellion in a way, I guess, because it's about... One horrible criminal rebelling against her other horrible criminal family members, um, at least partly. Because otherwise the movie is about the most stacked fucking woman you've ever seen in your life. Like, fucking training to, to be a bodybuilding oh, okay. competitor. That's what you mean by stacked. So stacked. <laughs> God, like, like, like it just, she, she looks nuts in, in the movie. She, she's like... Beyond compare, uh, I don't know what to fucking compare. WWE, WWF superstar. Yeah, yeah, like 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 fucking Rhea Ripley or some shit. You know, like like just fucking fucking big ass fucking muscles and like looks like can you, you know she could kill you in half of a fucking second, but is also just hot as fuck at the same time. You know, it's like a feedback loop of of awesomeness, and it was that was a wonderful film to watch for two hours. But Sound also, it. Go lesbians. Yeah. Also, yeah, it was like way fucking like better, hotter lesbian sex scenes than the other lesbian movie that I saw earlier in the year. Okay, I see. This this cop that that died apparently. He just going looks home? like a goober. No. <laughs> I don't want to shit on a dead man too much, not knowing anything about him other than he was a pig. Shot that man six times. Jesus. Did you see that video? Now, this I'm stealing from the goddamn fucking Adam Friedland podcast, but video of this this one dude rolling up to, like, a gas station in Philly, I think, and there's, like, a security guard at the gas station or whatever. He's, he's strapped the fuck up, like, you know, fucking try-hard security dude with guns and shit. Um, and... and Guy walks into the store, like, with a gun in his waistband or whatever the fuck, and the security guy just tells him to fuck off. I don't, I don't know what happened, really, in the lead-up, but, like, then the guy flashes the gun and pulls it, but he's not, like, pointing it at anyone, and the security guy just unloads on the, like, he unloads his, his, the clip of his pistol on the fucking guy. Which is, so he shoots him, like, 12 times already, right? And then the guy falls to the ground, he's laying there. He's like, oh! Really? But then the security guy, the dude's already down on the ground, he's dying, pulls out his second gun, the fucking shotgun, and then just keeps unloading into the fucking guy on the ground, Damn. who's already, like, basically no, grievously injured. I ain't see it. I, I need to see it. Hold up to the mic. He missing so many shots. That's what make it funnier. Yeah. Shooting him up, boy. That nigga. <laughs> What's that nigga up? Shooting him in his fucking legs and shit. It's just like, uh. Yeah, Very that, that is like some GTA shit. Well, it was f fucking ridiculous. He was just mad that day. Damn. <laughs> but, hey. It's his life for his life at that point. Once that nigga up, I get, but like, once like, you pull your gun out, I guess I don't fucking know. Like, once the guy's down, though, like, the, do you really got to keep unloading on the motherfucker? The, the question is, where the gun was at? I mean, like, the gun was still still in his hand, but only because he was like fucking like, yeah, drop the gun, nigga. <laughs> then we could talk. The problem is that, like, I don't know the the the. the this, like, wild west-ass, like, country we live in. I, I cannot tell you who was in the right. Like, like if, I, don't, I don't give a fuck if you work somewhere and you're hired to have a gun. 
you're a bitch if if you're you're fucking unloading the shit into just some other guy who may or may not be legally carrying or whatever the fuck where i come from where i come from like you come from florida so this is kind of a wild take but that's just you know that nigga should have just left the stove why why are you up and on the security guard i don't fuck like <laughs> what, what possessed you know. like the question i know why you got shot like he pulled the fucking gun. The question is, but, like, why did it, you up? Like my in question the, is, why did you up? Where he him? was not in like an immediate threat. Like he wasn't pointing the shit at anyone. Not yet. It not go yet. From, but to, it could go in a split like, second. I, like I, I'm, I'm okay, gun, this, the security guard is right to fucking like shoot the guy. Sure, but it was shoot overkill. His entire fucking clip. It was overkill. And then grab a second gun. I mean, he probably was just scared at that point. Because apparently, like, like some, like apparently, the security guard was injured in this exchange. I don't know how. I didn't see that fucking other guy shoot. You know, I didn't see the the guy he shot shoot back. So it's like, did he shoot? Did the security guard shoot himself in the foot while he was fucking like it was a lot unloading of a hail of bullets it on was, this fucking he, guy? He was missing a lot of shots. So yeah, it, like that's not a person who should be shooting a gun in a professional capacity as a as a patron of a store you should never up your weapon no sap at your own crib because you will get your ass blown down sure that's that's fine. the lesson in pulling, the- pulling a gun in 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 public makes you a pussy <laughs> no matter what having a gun in public really makes you a pussy in my fucking point of view because because you know i am a man of words and shit you could shoot me but that just makes me better than you fucker i understand those out there who got guns <laughs> pussies. pussies some pussies, niggas pussies, out pussies, here pussies, pussies. you gotta shoot them niggas if i see a nigga like john jones trying to run down on me i gotta end that nigga life <laughs> if john it's a john. big linebacker type nigga big ass brolic six eight six six ten shack type nigga trying to run down i gotta i gotta end them it's just like like got yeah. to. if it's pussy it's pussy that nigga dead i'm gonna go get some pussy that's all fine it's like like it's just like fucking circumstance it's it's like the law of probabilities i don't know maybe i'm just that fucking lucky where no large motherfucker has ever tried to to throttle my ass for any reason even if it's a little nigga with a gun these little niggas wild with these switches well it's just like you know a little motherfucker with a gun i'm just gonna bonk him on his fucking head and super mario jump on him until he dies you know like at I that like point, to see I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be bunny hopping <laughs> on his, his fucking bitch ass. I'm gonna take the gun from him and, and stick it in his fucking dick hole. That's the revolution and rebellion of the youth. They yeah. got the switches on the guns. God, which is just like insane. Like I don't, I don't fucking say so who made these switches. Like I just don't get guns. Like like wanting to have one or feeling the need to have one. Like a, a need, capital N, like like this thing. I know I'm going to use this for its intended purpose or whatever. Like I'm not gonna, you know, defense or offense. As, as, yeah, like you know, because it could go one way or the other. Like there are plenty of people in Florida. Like mm-hmm. this is this is why I have this opinion about guns. There are plenty of people in Florida who have guns and are just waiting for their chance to fucking Trayvon Martin some fucking black kid. You know, I, I swear the it. fuck. I swear the fuck to God, like someone like tried to kill my ass or like with impunity by like baiting me into an interaction by like tr- like basically trying to hit me with their car while I was on my bicycle. Right? This happened in fucking Jacksonville. I was like, it was middle of the fucking night, and this is summer of 2020. So like, you know. If, I'm sure they would have had the, depending on who this person was, they would have had the cops on their fucking side in whatever capacity if I was already dead and I couldn't speak for myself, you know? It's like, oh, he attacked me, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't see what, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm sure they could have pulled some shit like that. And that just, like, you, you know, what's the fucking point? Some people are too fucking bloodthirsty. Like, like, yeah. You have a gun for real reasons and not just because you're trying to, like, kill someone or whatever the fuck or, or foresee yourself killing someone in the future for, for supposedly righteous fucking reasons, you know? You don't even be righteous. Niggas just want to kill. 
Well, that's the thing. It's like you know, people try to make it righteous, like in the fucking instance that I brought up where it's like they're trying to bait your ass into a fucking like fight. It's like, oh, he he fucking swung first. I get to shoot him now. That kind of shit. You know, like they they come up with whatever fucking justifications that they do. Like, speaking of rebellions, speaking of the South, the entire fucking Civil War, like, you know, just being this this bad faith fucking thing that people have twisted around for over a century to be about, like, this righteous fucking cause. It's like, oh, we, we wanted f freedom to, to self-govern from the, the fucking, the goddamn, you, that, that nasty union with that nasty Abraham Lincoln who wouldn't let us keep our fucking slaves. But they don't say the slave part. You know, it's like, oh, it's about heritage. That's why I get to fly the fucking Confederate flag. It's because cause it's my, my, my heritage. I'm not a bitch. I'm not pissing myself. Black people don't scare me. Ah. No, nah, that's that's the reason the, the stand your ground law uh, will work because you can say you fear for your life. Exactly, it's it's just like the, the pussy shit. Oh, I feared for my life. That's why I took my m murder weapon and I murdered someone with it. You know. Oh, I feared f I feared for for my 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 individual rights. That's why I, I got into a war with these other motherfuckers so I could keep black people in my basement. You know. Yeah. Like, like everyone fucking thinks that they're a good person. <laughs> Even if they're the biggest piece of shit on the planet, and they will take their... They will twist themselves into knots in order to to maintain that they are good. Then you got me being from Chicago, where we don't got white people like that. Well, on the north side, maybe. Yeah. Well, south side. Where we at, we ain't really got white people. And niggas just like killing niggas. Yeah. Niggas just wake up angry like, man... I just want to kill a nigga today. Some niggas is like that. Well, I'm sure that there are like <laughs> some white people that are like that. It's just that usually they're on like meth or something. At least where I come from, nah, like niggas the ones just, just want to kill people. Niggas be mad. What well, plus we? I come from a place where there's a large gangbang culture. With killing is like you, you get respect being a killer where I'm from. So. Like I, I think like the most like well-to-do murderer we ever had in Florida was Bundy. Possibly, and then that was it, and everyone else was just like a fucking meth head, or like on something. Like I can't. I, we like, have too many. Like even think <laughs> about like this is a story for the show that I don't know if I've told, but it's been told on a million fucking YouTube videos. There was this kid that went to my high school at the same time as me. He was a year below me. If I say this kid's name, then that gives the story away for some people who are too extremely online, but. Let's just say this was a kid, he was he was kind of quiet when I saw him walking around the halls and shit, you know, he was like a bit heavier set at the time, but then he, I think he joined the football team and, you know, he started being more social, whatever the fuck. Eventually he goes to, I think, UF or FSU or one of them, um, <laughs> and he's, I think he's on, on a football scholarship or he's a frat boy or something, he's, he's, he's doing... Some shit where he's still, you know, social, he's got a lot of friends, but he's also, like, fucking getting fit, and he's, like, lifting weights, whatever, and he's, he's like, he makes his own YouTube videos, this fucking kid. Then he, he, his YouTube videos start going weird, like, like, the kid's losing his mind, like, he's starting to say weird shit, like, he has superpowers, he's, he's, like, part horse, you know, he's, like, like, his, you know... His mom thinks that he's like, you know, okay, this is a little bizarre, but like, you know, nothing to to be too alarmed about, right? Um, and this, of course, you know, the, the kid's off his fucking nut, but like, his family are like a bunch of dumbass Trump supporters, so that's why they mm. think nothing's wrong with him, because they don't know what normal is. But, um, yeah, eventually he... The, he's supposed to go to like a, a fucking Chili's or a Duffy's or something like some fucking restaurant with his dad or whatever and he doesn't show up or like he shows up and then he leaves and then he goes missing for a couple hours and then they end up finding his ass walking through a suburb or not he 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 he, he, he was walking through a suburb and then he saw this this couple sitting in their garage watching TV and then he was like, well, I'm going to murder these people. 
and he ro- rolls up to them in their garage, cuts them the fuck open with a knife. He's, like, not wearing pants at this point. I think he might be wearing, like, his Trump MAGA hat or some shit. He ain't right? want to leave none. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's, like, he stabs these people to death, and then he starts eating them. Raw. And then, and then, like, before the cops show up, he starts drinking, like, Drano and shit. Just, like, random-ass chemicals that are in the garage. And and then, like, it takes, like, six cops to pry the kid off of one of the people that he's in the middle of eating. Right? Because he's just, like, fucking bug-fuck nuts and retard strong. Um, so this kid was Austin Haroof. That's his fucking name. And see, so somehow didn't die from drinking Drano. But I just made him sick. And now he's in jail, I think. For killing and eating two people out of nowhere. And I went to school with that fucking kid. See, some people just liked it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just like they're not in the, at least in the, the case that I'm talking about, they're not in the right fucking mind. No, I know perfectly normal and sane people that just kill a motherfucker. Well, that, yeah. That, like, I don't know any normal and perfectly sane people that just go kill motherfuckers. Like, you gotta be either on some, some righteous... You gotta be fucking George Zimmerman on some crusade to, to rid the world of all of the evil black teenagers. Or you've gotta be, like, you know... you you just taken your tenth hit of meth in the last, like, five minutes. Or you're a cop. And, or you're a cop. You know, yeah, all those. <laughs> well, again, the cop is like the righteous gang, crusade thing. You game banging, you got to go kill the op. Like, I, I don't call cops normal and sane, that's for sure. Cops are game bangers too, so same thing. Exactly. They do it for the shield. God. The fucking uh, the other civil war in the news is that Alex Garland civil war movie with fucking uh, Kirsten Dunst in it. Have you seen anything about that movie? Josh watched it. I ain't watched it. Yeah. Uh, it looks all right. Like, people were, like, fucking clowning on the, the director of it because, like, in all of the interviews he's given for, you know, press and shit for the movie, he's he's been, like, wishy-washy about, like, what his fucking politics are. Like, he apparently went into writing this movie not giving a fuck about politics, supposedly, you know, this movie about a fucking civil war in the United States, for fuck's sake, taking place in the present day. People were, like, really people were chiding him for not, like, uh, making it, like, you know, oh, the politics that are happening in the country now, and, like, bring that it into never the happened. or whatever. Well, that's, like, Military that's, too strong. Not only that, but th- it, it's, like... <sighs> Military way too strong. They just gonna flush that shit out. Like, y'all, what? Hey, put them niggas down real Like, quick. The, the movie's predicated on the military having split up, I think. In, yeah, okay. Like, based on territory or whatever the fuck. Like, I, it, it's it's dumb. It, granted, like, but, you know. I don't think the movie was supposed to illustrate, like, what a possible future of the United States would be so much as it's just supposed to be, like... This is like sort of what's happening in other places in the world, but transposed to the United States as a location. Because it's not like this shit doesn't happen in real life. We got all kinds of fucking wars going on all over the place. But it's it's not like a usual thing to see that shit on American soil, even in fiction anymore. Except for in stuff like... God, the last thing I could really even think of was like that goddamn G.I. Joe movie from 10 years ago, the one with the rock in it. Didn't watch it. I ain't watched no G.I. Joe. Never? I, I watch uh, the animation. That's going to be an easy <laughs> fucking clickbait thumbnail person to have in there is the rock as his G.I. Joe character. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't rock with G.I. Joe. I'm a Cobra nigga. I mean, well, like, those movies, like, the, the <laughs> Cobra's cool as fuck in those movies is the thing. Like, they're, they're cooler than the G.I. Joes is the thing. I so just it's seen, like, yeah, I just seen the animation. Like, those those movies aren't that bad. Like, like they're kind of all right. The first one's got, like, fucking, fucking Marlon Wayans in it for, for some reason. <laughs> He's one of the G.I. Joes. So that's fun. He needed a check. No, I'm just playing. I wouldn't say needed. Apparently it was a whole big thing because, like, 
like Channing Tatum was in in both of them. The the second one less so, but that was like like some huge problem that like he he had, he, he signed up for like a, a two picture or a th- multi picture deal and like they kept having like trying to shove him in GI Joe movies. And he's like, fuck this shit, I hate G.I. Joe, I don't want to be in this shit. Smart man. So he was in the first one, and then he was in, like, one scene of the second one with The Rock, and then they kill his ass. And then that's it. So he got out. That worked out for him. But, uh, yeah, this, this fucking Civil War movie, I don't really have anything to say about it since I haven't seen it. It's, you know, fuck it. Fuck it, don't care. Don't really fucking care, it doesn't matter. I guess it was good, maybe. Some people liked it, sort of. What's more interesting looking that comes out pretty soon is the fucking goddamn kingdom of the planet of the apes, motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, they've been doing the, the attempts at viral marketing right now. That and uh, Mad Max. That and Mad Max. Mad Max comes out two weeks later after after the apes. I checked. But, um... I guess, yeah, uh... Similar post-apocalypse type movies, but I didn't really even plan on talking about Furiosa. We're gonna, I think we're gonna do it. Maybe a Mad Max episode. Ugh, guess. I think maybe we're gonna do a Mad Max episode at some point soon, coming up within the next few weeks. Who knows? Possibly. Um, I haven't really been planning out like sitting down and watching movies for the show as much as we probably should be doing. I still have. I haven't even watched How High yet. I completely forgot, basically, in the last week to watch How High. I forgot. I told you to watch it. <laughs> well, that works out. Uh, Maybe fucking... next 420 we get John to watch How High, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next year. There's always next year. It's always next year. But, yeah, Kingdom of the what, what's, of the a. What's the, um, the vape day, 510 day? Is that, is that a fucking thing? Vape day? It's like 510 day or something That's like the that? worst thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. 510 is vape day. That's that's a day after my cat's birthday. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you just going to the back to Planet of the Apes? Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I rewatched War for the Planet of the Apes again recently. That's the most recent one. Did you see that? The the one with Woody Harrelson? The one where he's like the 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 army motherfucker, and he's he's just like he he like holds all the apes in a prison camp, like it's the ape holocaust. Hell no, that movie's fucking nuts. But it was funny to notice that that Harrelson was he was doing a fucking Marlon Brando impression the whole time. He was just doing like Marlon Brando as Colonel Kurtz from Apocalypse Now. Like he like at, at some point like. The, the this is the the same director that did the the fucking Batman the last Batman movie right so either him was the or last Harrelson you talking about the one with uh uh Edward yes <laughs> yes forgot that nigga real name Edward <laughs> uh Robin close enough yeah Robert Rob Robert Battinson yeah he know his name yeah he he I get him like B list. Damn near A-list. He's, he's like B-plus. I guess I'd say damn near yeah. A-list. Yeah, that's the one nigga. I, I mean, could, like I him and Kristen Stewart are, are like f- struggling, trying nah, to fight she, their way up. She, nah, she A-list. Real? What? What the fuck has she, she done that's did, been A-list? She did her dirty work. She did her dirty work behind the camera. That's nigga. not how that works, <laughs> motherfucker. She did name, her one, dirty work. name one movie that, that is like A-list that you'd fucking... Like even the the movie I just watched last night, I don't know if I'd count. It's like indie you talking sport. about her, her, the movie itself, or the, she in being that quality, or her actor. Both. That's what makes it a list, motherfucker. Those are my criteria. No. Yeah. If you keep getting a list roles, like The Rock is not his acting. Don't be. Well, A-list. what role has she fucking Wait, got? The Rock is an a lister. She was in that like fuck ass Charlie's Angels movie that nobody saw. And she was in, like, that fucking Snow White bullshit that no one remembers. It was funny as I forgot her name for a second. <laughs> <laughs> A-list my ass. Just because she fucked the director of Snow White doesn't mean shit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's so much Twilight. Don't mean nothing. <laughs> so much Twilight. Don't mean nothing. 
I'm trying to defend you, uh, Shorty. You can slide through. Mrs. Stewart, we love you, but you're not A list. Adventureland. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> I, I'm looking at all these movies. That's the only one that is. Adventureland from like 15 years That's ago. That's the only one right now. Shit. Damn, Man. Shorty. It ain't looking good. Fucking Zathura. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Panic Room. It's funny, you know what, like, going back to Panic Room, that's good-ass fucking casting. Fucking Kristen Stewart is Jodie Foster's daughter. Because look at that Kristen Stewart now, she's basically, like, a clone of fucking Jodie Foster. Like, they got, like, the same fucking vibes. Like, same lesbian energy. <laughs> um, you know? Um, oh, is she an Aries, too? Shout out They're to Shorty. great fucking actors. Oh, no, her birthday is the same birthday as uh, my homies. Yeah. Oh, me. April 9th. April 9th. Happy belated birthday to you, Case 2. Slide on me, shorty. You you have wonderful breasts, if I may say. (laughs) If I'm allowed to say that, having watched the movie that your breasts were appeared in. (laughs) It was hot when you ate out the muscle girl's ass. All right. (laughs) That's the kind of movie that 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 is. All right. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I might have to check this movie out. That's it's funny. a great movie, dude. Might, I might have to go ahead. That movie's movie it's so <laughs> fucking good. It's so good. But it's like a toxic ass lesbian relationship too, because like she's she's like just pumping her full of fucking roids and shit. I gotta and like the treats her like shit. Like there's one point where she's like Muscle Girl's doing pull ups, right? And then she like. Kristen Stewart takes a fucking lighter and like fucking lights her fucking feet on fire <laughs> or like just like burns her feet real quick and then she like sucks on her fucking toes it's nuts it's nuts I beat that bitch ass <laughs> while she sleep that's, no, that's, that's before muscle girl gets violent that bitch gonna wake up like she got hit by a train or something like what the fuck just happened I don't know <laughs> that's what happens later like she punches Kristen Stewart in her fucking face that movie uh, cl- uh click Click, yeah. When yeah. that nigga paused the boss and whooped his ass, he's like farting in his face and shit. He whooped that nigga. Ah, oh, sh- oh, what, what? David Hasselhoff. I know those lesbian uh, chicks be getting it in. I want to say bitches, but I'm gonna respect y'all. <laughs> y'all lesbians be getting it in with the domestics. On me, I gotta what's being mean to Katie O'Brien by calling her Muscle Girl and not by her name. The muscle, 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 Madame, Muscle Bob. So what kind of I got a ticket to see Challengers, but I don't think I'm going to go see that shit. Apparently, it's good as fuck. I, I, I guess this care. is the weirdo fucko episode of the month now. Like, I'm done with Rebellion. I just I mean, want to talk still, about shit. We could still tattoo it. I guess. Revolution? <laughs> so much for classic episodes. It's I guess rev- those are out the window now that we're doing all this weird shit. Doing fucking... I mean, we got to get more movie-centric. Yeah, we got we got to do more research. Is what we got to do. But yeah, it looked decent. But you know, <laughs> Zidane and these white niggas. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. That's the problem. Is that like neither of these fucking white boys look remotely interesting to me to watch? They look like boring as fuck. Like they look like they have like weirdo blank. Like like one one guy looks like John Mulaney, and then the other guy don't looks know that like, is. like a Greek mother. You don't know John Mulaney? Who is that? The, the, oh, God, the comedian. Fuck. He's, uh, if, if you saw a, a picture of him, you'd probably recognize him. He's the, he's the guy who banged Olivia Munn and got her pregnant. Don't know what that is. You know, you know Olivia Munn. She fell off. <laughs> at, once you start fucking with Aaron Rodgers, was it before or after Aaron Rodgers? After. See, look, after Aaron Rodgers. She didn't have no kid with Aaron Rodgers, I don't think. That's what I'm saying. I, I ain't care. Like, once you got with Aaron Rodgers, you got weird. <laughs> But, yeah, one guy looks like that, and then the other guy looks like, like, I don't know, like the fucking, like the one guy from Ted Lasso or some shit. But, like... I'm gonna just say this. Olivia Munn rise up was crazy, and she, it's like a historic rise. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, that's... that Because cause she was, like, the one hot girl on the, the nerd I used to watch show. that shit faithfully. Then she just popped up one day. It's like, we got a show that's hosted by a bunch of a hot nerdy ugly girl. losers, yeah, and then nah. the hottest bitch you've ever seen. <laughs> Like, is she nerdy as... I'm like, who the fuck is she? Yeah. I need her one time. Yeah, she's all right. Remember when they tried making no, that's, her she one, fell of the, off. one of the fucking X-Men? I was, I was a kid. <laughs> I see now. I see the light. God. 
Yeah, but that, that's that's fucking. That's a no, deep she's still, cut. She still, she still, you know, doing her thing. Shout G4 out to her. G4 era or whatever the fuck. On me, I was on all the video game shit. I was trying to be a gamer nigga one time. There's still time, Tezo. We we Hell have no. our, our new gaming channel, Yuck Zone, which is up now. I'm talking about like, competitive. That shit over with right now. Oh, well, fuck. That's for the youth. Competitive what? I mean, like, you could you could fucking maybe squeak. Like, there are, like, some old head fucking MLG people still around, still kicking, whatever the that's fuck. That's for the depending. youth. Let them go. I'm, that's ain't for me. Ah, I don't know about that. I might join a 2K or Madden, but it's for the, the youth is running yeah. shit. I mean, like, I couldn't fucking compete on anything that I play. That's for sure. I couldn't even speedrun shit. Yeah, it's like, not... bullshit way too easy. Like, I'm decent at Call of Duty, but that rank shit different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck ranked. Fuck ranked anything. It just... That's, it, it, like, the sweatiest shit. It's just not fun. Like, yes, people get way too aggressive about that shit, too. That's that 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 that's when men are made in them 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 dungeons. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you get it out? That's what make it fun. The trenches. You survive. <laughs> Shit. It's like chess. That's what make chess fun. Like chess is only fun if you find somebody that could challenge you or make you think. I don't give a hot fuck about chess. No, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm just like <laughs> I know games what you mean. in general. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's the it's like. It's not playing it, right? Because you could play with anybody, but if you don't have a mind, and that's what that's what makes like like modern gaming so frustrating is is just because it's all so fucking calculated and everything. Like like back in the day, you didn't have to worry about like you know skill based matchmaking or shit like that. You, you like shit just sort of worked out a certain way. Like like the the. It, Roll of the dice, like, this is the game you're playing, these are the, the people you're playing it with, and, you know, people will win, people will lose, blah, blah, blah. Like, now it just feels like you gotta worry about every little fucking thing, like, like in Call of Duty, like, if you're not using the right gun, then you're fucked, you know? Like, some of those guns are so bad that it is a, a complete uphill battle to even try to use them. Even for people who are really fucking good at the game, you know? I watched this one guy on YouTube, Handler, and he's one of the best fucking players I've ever seen play the fucking game. But, like, he he pro like he uses shitty guns on purpose just to, like, fucking try them out. And he shows that, yeah, you like, it does make all the fucking difference I mean, sometimes. yeah, when you, you learn that when you first go through all your guns. Like, like, when you're trying to go to every gun or some shit like that, you learn shit like that. Sure, but there are so many fucking guns. Like, like, there's so much shit in the games now that, like, unless yeah, they be you're, you're, shit. unless you're like googling this shit yeah, every be, day. Nah, yeah, they be nerfing before shit before you when, make when, your uh, class. Patches yeah. and updates. You know, like and if like, like when the snipers was overpowered when uh, what was that one that Vanguard just first dropped? And it changes overnight, like mm -hmm, with patches, yeah, flipping back and forth. So you know. Some things that were great. Same thing with some um, things that were great a year ago. You can't use now. Not even just suck. a year ago. A week ago. A month ago. The same thing. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the same thing with uh all with all modern games like that. Like Madden, they do it. Like if you have found a glitch, it's like play, it's like cranked up to eleven. The like the what, frequency of. I these. mean, it, it has to because be like you could bet on a lot of this competitive gaming now. So yeah, they gotta regulate it somehow. Cause it was like the uh, when I be watching the Madden tournaments, they say yeah the new patch like certain defensive packages and shit where certain glitches happen in the game they like Sheesh. patched it up. You know, if anything, I could see or that animations. Being, being more difficult for like the people trying to organize like tournaments and shit. It's like, do you like end up changing rules? It's like, well, this isn't allowed. This isn't allowed because it got fucking buffed. If the patch like the one uh, tournament I was watching, the, the patch happened that morning. It just it's happened that morning. Nice. You gotta go in. If you really be your best your skill, that patch ain't gonna matter. If you really don't, you playing the game, right? <laughs> so like, like back in the day when it took like a good month for games to get patched, like we didn't have to worry about that shit. You know, you were just sort of stuck with shit. But now, like, we got live service games, and most of these publishers do not know how to run a fucking live service game. Like the only like the one game, the only game that is live service currently that looks any fun to play because it's live service and not just because it happens to be live service is fucking Hell Divers Two, 
You know, that's the only yeah. thing that's, it gets. Not only does it get updated consistently, but it's like consistently made better to the point where like the player base just constantly has new fun shit to do yeah. instead of just like being forced to to fucking like oh th this thing broke sorry we're gonna take a day to fix it type shit you know i'm still in them trenches yeah <laughs> winning yeah rebirth I island back. i gotta get back into fucking <laughs> call of duty we're gonna do some call of duty shit on yuck zone i'm in them trenches this is the yuck zone minute yuck I, zone update i'm gonna add my gamer tag one of these days we get enough people Anything happening in sports right now? So we could we could. It's a lot of stuff. Happening. Wrap up the yuck zone update. <laughs> Too much happening in sports right now. It's the playoffs for the NBA. It's the playoffs NBA for playoffs. the NHL. Baseball just kicked up. Yeah, baseball is is the Olympics starting. in like two or three months in like June, July. God, I keep forgetting about the Olympics. It's finna it's We're gonna get to busted. Do fucking Olympics coverage at some point. It's gonna be busting on me. Talk about. People who may or may not get fucked up. Pain Olympics. Not <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> oh, ancient history. But yeah, man, my Miami Heat. Um, we down two on the Boston. Got our ass whooped today. My Lakers. Uh, we were down 0-3 to the Denver Nuggets, and we came back and won today. Um, I expect nice. to lose next game, and the series be over. <laughs> Oh, it'll happen. Fuck the rest of the league. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Knicks are winning. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Nobody really cares. <laughs> but people who live in this bum ass city. No, Bing <laughs> bong. Fuck your life. Don't come for me, Knicks fans. I doubt y'all listening. We got to gotta, we gotta get the Knicks sponsorship. We're going to be the official Fuck. podcast of the New York Knicks. His name James Dolan. <laughs> That's the owner. <laughs> now we ain't getting it. Uh, Now we're not. No, we're not. This is a heat. I could try to get the heat to uh, sponsor yeah, us. Yeah, let's let's get sponsored by the fucking Miami Heat. They follow me on Twitter. I'm going to DM them. Yes, let's do it. Can I DM them because they follow me? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can. That'd be so funny. <laughs> that, like, like, what if... Bro, if, that get, like, if we could just, like, get free trips to fucking Miami, let's do it. How do I get sponsored by y'all? <laughs> <laughs> say, say, say that you have a podcast. You gotta no. open or I must see what they sponsor first. You see what they sponsor. I wonder if they're gonna answer. The official podcast. I wonder if they're gonna unfollow me for doing this. No, come on. Why would they? They don't follow. We, got, we gotta use some of that Twitter clout to they got they got five million followers and they only follow one hundred and thirty one people thousand people. Only one hundred and thirty one thousand out of five million? That's the most followers I've seen. Okay. Think about it this way. To be following that many people, that's more than than most people have followers. Is is the way that I'll. No, nah, I'm talking about for like accounts. Like, I mean, I could show you other sports teams. That's what I'm like. It's, it's, okay, well, I'm not, I'm just other sports. In comparison, teams and then most people with that million, you would think they would be following at least a million people or two, three million. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. We'll get the sponsorship, whether they like it or not. Now, eventually, maybe we're going to blow up. I would like to thank the algorithm for making our most recent episode of Yuck Time, episode 37, about Kevin Smith. I'm telling our you. Our second most watched video on YouTube. They show sure helped us, probably. Our second most watched episode, at least, because of some of our other videos. Imagine if we watching. camped outside, they show. Not scared. Who was doing that? <laughs> That would be a way to be seen. Who, who was sure. like, yeah, if we, if we made our, if we made asses of ourselves yeah, and like which fucking one of, wore like t-shirts, it's us like going do it's that. yuck time. <laughs> which one of us is going to do that? Neither <laughs> of us. I just wear my fucking clown makeup. No, like like eventually, like I'm going to fucking put on clown makeup once we start doing fucking video shit. And that'll get us get us hopefully viral. Me being a literal clown. As a disguise to to not be be noticed for all of my my evil doing. They gonna look at life. you like, hey, hey they gonna make a jump. <laughs> he said it on a few podcasts earlier. If you go back, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, it's not really to protect anonymity so much as it is just to purely get attention. Wearing fucking 
clown face. I want to get a Slipknot mask. Get a Slipknot mask. The only problem with that is that like a mask would like muffle our voices. It don't to Slipknot. <laughs> well, then we, we'd have to get like a specially made. Well, I should one. say it doesn't to Corey Taylor. Yeah, Corey Taylor's mask specifically has like an open mouth hole. What's the name? Damn, they don't even got a mask, Joey. Like it's like paint, damn there. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty fucking much. Ugh. I'm looking at this video <coughs> on how Neuralink works, and I hope it's not. What did you see it? How Neuralink works? Um, I haven't seen a video about it. That's oh, some rebellion fuck. ass goes to the shell type shit right there. Yeah, rebelling against nature. They just like pull. That looked like they took like a clean plug out of your head, like yeah. like fucking like. How about you? Just, like a cartoon. They can't just inject it to the back of your spine or some shit. No. I mean, it goes straight on the top of your fucking brain. It's like, uh, uh, that's some, some dumb shit. You gotta be like a fucking very special case to, to, so you gotta go bald to get that bitch. (laughs) I'm sure they just shave whatever, like whatever fucking area they, they put it on. If you have hair, I think coincidentally the, the, the guy they they stuck it in the first patient doesn't have hair or something maybe i don't know forget what he looks like i am being distracted by the twitter webs it is what it is a lot of things going on blacks for trumps what no neuralink guy has hair but they shaved his shit looks what? like what oh yeah i saw that the fucking white people wearing blacks for trump shirts said they must be creole yeah <laughs> Yeah, I love that Donald Trump. Born for hey. the election. Yeah. What's that oh. nigga name? Down in Nolan, we love Donald Trump down in Nolan. Oh. Hmm. I forgot that nigga name. You can down and vote for Trump. Hmm. I forgot that nigga name. It's the whitest person you've ever seen in your life, and they sound like that. What the fuck is that nigga name? Who what? I don't want to say Uncle Cracker. It's, uh, Uncle Cracker is a musician. Stale Cracker. Stale Cracker. <laughs> is that his name? Uh, no, Uncle Yeah. Cr- Uncle Cracker is the guy who did the, the fucking um Stale Cracker. The the cover of Gimme the Beat Boys and Free My Soul. Shout out that nigga Stale Cracker. That's the only Louisiana Creole type nigga we respect. That nigga be cooking. Okay. Is that the that 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 one motherfucker on YouTube? Yeah, that fucking guy with the wraparound sunglasses. Yeah, dude. Hey, dude. Yeah, dude. Mm. Dude. I feel like he say nigga off camera. 100%. That, that he fucking... Are you kidding me? <laughs> look, just take one fucking look at that guy, audience. Audience, look up Stale Cracker <laughs> he got on some, YouTube. And he got some black friends that be eating with him, like, yeah, nigga, this shit fat, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why be cooking that bitch up? Boy. He's feeding an entire black middle school class full of children, <laughs> and and it's <laughs> like casually, like just saying the n word with the teacher. It's like a middle aged black woman. See, I love y'all niggas, man. I come do anytime. <laughs> <laughs> she just has like a look of horror on her face, but all the children are happy because they have food. Fuck. Either only male I follow on TikTok. <laughs> That shit's going away. We got to talk about about the ban. Oh yeah, I'm with it. You're with it. Oh yeah, I'm with it. I don't, that shit. I don't. I ain't listening to none of the sit-ins or whatever. None of that shit. I'm with it. <laughs> we don't need that in our society. We really don't. Like, I mean, I don't think we do. At least it's fucking. I don't. You know. I also feel like there's too many kids on there. Too many kids on there. Not that, like, I, I am, like, in favor of, like, a fucking social media ban or whatever, like, Florida style. I am damn near. I mean, not, not like Florida. No, nah, nothing like Florida. Yeah, because, like... Well, what are they doing with the gay... Not nah, playing. <laughs> <laughs> What's not? <laughs> I had to get one off. Oh, uh, we love you, our LGBTQIA plus plus plus. Fuck Florida, and they fuck Florida. Try to rewrite history and erase gay. Yeah, people. 
Exactly. They're they're like fucking Nazis on, yeah. on acid they're, they're, down there. Like, can't stand them. Can't stand them. I fuck with Miami, though. Miami's over. I, I gotta go back to fucking Miami. Hence the Heat fan. I gotta go back to Miami. I gotta go back to Key West. Key West is the shit. I would like to see Key West, but... It's so chill. I would need a large amount of black people to come with me. You wouldn't need that. It's it's Key West is chiller than even Miami, dude. We'll see. Like like I'm talking about Gator Bait. <laughs> uh, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. I know what y'all was doing to those little black kids back there. <sighs> History sucks. <laughs> is all I will say. <clears throat> For some people. <laughs> oh please <laughs> some people they cooler some by people, and large some people they like yeah history did me justice hey it's not like people had air conditioning back when they were feeding fucking black people to crocodiles maybe they did maybe it happened a few years ago oh <laughs> jesus christ Couldn't oh yeah the shit. nfl draft was the past few days NFL draft. And they be talking about the quarterback the Chicago Bears pick because he painted his nails. I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> He's a really good a football. Fuck. He's a really good football player. And y'all talk about cause he painted his nails. Yeah. What does that have to do with him throwing the football? Exactly. Like like people are like and he got, shit about the dumbest. He got some premium milk. Littlest performative shit. He got some premium milk with him. That's probably another reason why they hate him. No, nah, it's because it's a video. He lost the game. It's like that white woman's making him a sissy who paints his nails. No, nah, no. Nah. He lost the game, and he jumped in the crowd and cried in his mama arms or some shit like that. <laughs> so, oh, wait. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that shit. Yeah. Like, who gives a fuck? That, that was funny as shit. That, that every, video was funny as hell. Everything after that, he do is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago I saw up. that video a, a while ago. That was like a, a couple months, I think, ago. That was some funny shit. He like cleared that fucking like wall at the end or whatever the fuck, like making that jump. Yeah, that was that was like what made it funny. Is like you you did like a fucking Superman jump across the shit. This nigga Ryan Garcia knocked out the uh, fuck that motherfucker Devin Haney. Fuck that fucking loser. That nigga did his thing in the ring. Fucking Ryan Ryan Barf see uh, am I right? He be with all the hoes. Fucking fucking shadow boxing in front of Trump. That nigga said no before the fight, that nigga like, I ain't even got a box. I make more money doing TikTok and shit. <laughs> he said, I ain't gotta do These this. Fucking gay zoomers. He said, I do this cause I love this shit. God. <laughs> but yeah, that was funny. They was like, w- like if he was black, we would call him a coon. But he said, "What do Mexicans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do Mexicans call this?" Great question. I forget what we call it. Are you googling like it's, it's fucking what do Latin American people call it? fucking? I was going through the uh, trying to find the tweet so I could see what, okay. if if a conclusion was drawn. All right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'll do the Google. You keep doing that. Lagarto. What is that? Lizard. Why? Because he's a fucking snake bitch. For for, for fucking being a, a fucking suck up to that orange cocksucker. I can't find the exact post. What the fuck? They say Autis- autism capital says Ryan Garcia isn't shadow boxing for Donald Trump here. This is just his raw autistic expression of excitement. I'm seeing Tigo Taco here. You found it? Not the tweet. Oh, the multiple, 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 multiple Google results here. Um, this says Trump want to call a nigga Speedy Gonzalez. Jesus fucking Christ! I believe that. So yeah, <laughs> that Tio nigga Taco. That Lagarto. nigga Trump do went to Puerto Rico and threw out paper towels like he was shooting free throws. Yeah, or three pointers. Yeah. That was hilarious. 
That that sums up like like basically any one of those stupid ass stunts that he ever pulled sums up basically his entire fucking presidency. <laughs> Him, like, tear-gassing, like, the protesters in front of the White House during 2020, and then, like, standing in front of the church with the upside-down Bible. Complete fucking idiot. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. So inexplicable. It's gonna be an interesting election. Pause. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Four more years. Uh, Pause. Uh, it's gonna be a nightmare. That was hilarious. He said, "Pause." <laughs> say what he said. Something gay. <laughs> what he say? Freaky. <laughs> Four more years. I ain't get it. That's good. <laughs> Fucking fuck, fuck. Man, damn, Biden, sleepy Joe. <laughs> You better win, boy. Uh, we can't do that. I can't do the the constant media frizzy. It, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be Sunday. like a fucking yeah. like another nightmare. So New fucking. York, New York was crazy. New York got fucked up, but now it's immigrants. Like immediately, shit got fucked up because oh, like, migrants like we mobilized. We're in the the hundred mile zone for the border, so like. All of the sh- like cops basically just got posted up permanently for like months, and it was fucked up. Shit, crazy. We don't need that. It was disgusting. Like just how quickly shit got fucked up. We do not need that. Can somebody else come out of nowhere? Like ain't no no young niggas, bitch. You they know? tried. They fucking tried. None of them fucking got anywhere. That 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 dumb little fucker Andrew Yang and and goddamn no, we ain't working with Yang Corey Booker and that nigga Yang fake as hell. I mean, yeah, the fact that he's running on UBI, but like he's only running on it by saying that he's going to cut every other fucking social program. It's like you can't take people's fucking social security away from them. Just just and then just give them a thousand bucks a month. That's not going to work. And then you're just gonna end up giving rich people free money that they can like gamble, you know? Yeah. So it's all fucked. She's. Oh yeah. Is there gonna be a revolution in this fucking country? Who knows? We need one shit. I don't We're all know too type. fucking lazy and 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 gay to to do that shit. We're all too boring. I guess that's a revolution that happened. <laughs> the revolution that made every American a piece of shit that does nothing. No, the gay revolution. Oh, the gay revolution. Like the so revolution, bringing it all back to the beginning of the episode. Pretty much. <laughs> the gay incel revolution. Shit. No, I was talking about just but oh, it's it's more uh, accepted. Sure. Where. Yeah, but that that doesn't make like it, I mean most, it's more most accepted. That also means that there are like shitty gay people who are. I mean, those all, it's just shitty people in general. Just because they gay don't just make as them prolific shitty. as non-gay don't shitty saying, people. Uh, just because they gay don't make them shitty. Uh, no, shitty I'm people. not saying it. It's just because they're gay. I'm saying it's just like, like I was saying earlier, everyone thinks they're a fucking good person for the most part. Most people think they're good people, and that whatever they do. As long as, like, they're not breaking the law or whatever the fuck, then, like, you know, they are doing good shit. And they could they could be working for, like, fucking Halliburton and be thinking this, you know? They could be, like, like working for a, a company that makes weapons and, like... They might be. Uh, or working for the government or, like, they or a might cop be a or person. anything like that. They just trying so, to so earn a way. Like, they just trying to, you know, eat real quick. And, and you could be any... <laughs> Anything on the spectrum of people, you could be fucking gay, you could be fucking, you know, Hindu, you could be fucking, you could have three ears, like, fuck it, you know? It doesn't necessarily mean you're one thing or the other, but, like, you can't ignore the fact that there are people out here who do fucking suck. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm a pessimist. Maybe I look for the bad in people, but... I don't know. Sometimes I just see it come to the, the, the surface. A little too easy. A little too quick. Eh, 
It, when, uh, when, pe when people try to hit you with a car when you're riding your bike in, in Florida in the middle of the night and you think they might have a gun behind their tinted windows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, you know. That, that, that sticks with me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's those things that stick with me. And with that... I, I think, I look, I don't think the person that hit me with they car was a bad person. Well, they were a bad person for trying to run off on you they when stopped they did them. it. <laughs> and next time on Yuck Time, we're going to be doing something different and talking about something else. But in the meantime, we will see you next time. Can I say time any more than, than I currently have? Time. Time. Time has come. Time. The time is the time, the tool, the time. <laughs> the time has come for the episode to be over. So, <laughs> follow us on Instagram at yuck.time, Twitter at yucko prime. Subscribe to us on Patreon for as little as $3 a month. You get access to extended episodes of the show, including bonus video on demand versions of our Yuck Zone gaming excursions and other bonus commentary tracks and such content um and also you can get credited on our youtube uploads so that's that's all for three dollars a month at www.yucktime.com tezzo's laughing at something on his phone so we're gonna we're gonna end it here and we love you and we'll see you next time on yuck time goodbye peace bye bye bye